Thank you very much indeed. It's now 11 languages. <laughs> added Italian a while back and Turkish. Uh, I want to drop back 20 years almost to the day, almost exactly 20 years ago. I was in, I was in uh, Dushanbe and the civil war in Tajikistan was nearing its end but you could still hear shooting and the city was was really kind of a depressing mess at that time. Uh, everyone was very fearful and, 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 and then suddenly in the midst of this rather gloomy civil war situation, uh, uh, three soldiers marched down the street with, the, with a flag. And I, I looked at it and said, what's that flag? I'd never seen it before. It was new. And they said, well, I, I caught up with them and asked them, and, and they said, well, that's our new flag. And I looked at it, and I said, it's very curious. Not, it's the first time I've ever seen it. I noticed there is uh, green on it, and he, he said, oh, yeah, that refers to the mountains, green, or, or to the green valleys and so on, where everything is grown. And I said, and it's white, what about that? And I said, whoa, the white is the mountains, of course, snowy mountains. And, and the red, he said, well, that's the, the, the life of the people. I thought, gee, that's unfortunate color for d the time of a civil war. Uh, but there was also on this, on this new flag, there were, I think, seven stars and, and a crown. So I asked Bonat, what are the seven stars referred to? And they didn't know. And I said, well, who designed the flag? They, oh, we, we can take you to him. He's, he's just a few blocks away. And it turns out it was de designed by a, a Lithuanian Catholic uh, who had a, an antique store, an old book and antique store, right in the center of Dushanbe. And so I went and, and met this man, very hospitable, very interesting man, and he indeed had designed the flag. So I said, what about the stars? And he said, well, he said, when I was a boy, a, a student in Lithuania, I had to study uh, 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 a work of, of German literature, uh, Goethe's West uh, Ostliche Divan, and uh, he said uh, that was about Persian poetry, uh, Hafiz mainly, as you, as you know. And he said, I then got interested and, and looked around, and it turns out there were other poets and, and, and Persian, but he said, once I was focusing on designing the flag, I asked, who, who were these other poets that I learned about? And he, he got the whole list, you know, he, Ferdowsi, Rabia Balki, uh, Ansurli, Atar, Hayam, Momar Hayam, all, and many others. And he looked into it, he didn't know anything about this, and he, and he said, that, my goodness, they're all from, from here. And he meant, Central Asia and, and of course Tajikistan particularly, but some were from like Rabia Balki, she's obviously from Balk, but, but they were from, from the east, if you will. And he said, so I decided to put them all on the flag. And I don't know which specific poets these re flag stars refer to, but it's a very interesting, it struck me as very interesting that these figures whom one thinks of as core figures of Persian culture and literature and poetry are actually from something that geographically is not part of Iran today. Well, that's not quite true because the eastern edge of Iran, as you know, Hurasan, uh, Ferdowsi was, was from there, uh, for example. Uh, but the fact is that this extraordinary band of gen poetic geniuses came from this Central Asian territory. And this got me thinking, well, who else is from there? 
And and I this 20, 18 years later, I publish a 650-page book, which is an answer to that question. Who else was from there, and 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 why? Why how, why did it happen? You know that these geniuses that showed up from from what we now call Central Asia, defined broadly. Well, 